Welcome folks, Other the Agent here, and we're on, I think, episode 5 of my Space Cam Let's Play. Um, last episode, we ended up taking the entire episode doing this level. We're probably going to do the same thing with this one. And I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time trying to... This is like the third or fourth time I've tried to do this, and I still can't figure out how I ended up doing it last time. Finally looked back at my old save file, and I think I finally have an idea. Three reactors. I've been trying to do it with two, and a lot of good that's doing me. So, first things first, let's do this. I think for this reactor, I'm going to have sulfur there, hydrogen there, and I'm actually going to redo the hydrogen there as well. And then here, I'm going to have... If I can actually click and drag correctly. I'm going to do carbon dioxide and just well we'll see if I actually want to do double bonds on that or not so what I think I'm gonna do uh, grab on the one point where they actually share a molecule oxygen hydrogen there and then something like this so if it's a hydrogen then we know we need to take it over here if it's not we're going to take it over here. And output into Omega, and then figure out where to take him from there. Uh, next step would be something like the following. Eventually. Come on. Come on. Um, I think I actually want to move this a little bit more out of the way. So that they just cross, so they're not going to crash into each other and cause problems. I'm going to debond, output, drop, output, and see where that puts me. Bond, out, out, ow. Hmm. So that does the hydrogen first. I was hoping it was going to do the sulfur first, make my job easy. Apparently not. That's good to know. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try this. Um, let's see if we can get this to work. Um, so, D-bond, so I want a rotate. Quickly check to see if that's the right rotate. Yes, it is. Uh, then output. No. Hmm. Let's try this. Drop. Put you like that. And output. See if that does what I want it to do. Seems to like to do the hydrogen first. I don't understand why. Maybe it's the location of the bonders? I don't know if it's random. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to just have to deal with that. Um, oh, this is turning into a mess, as always. And uh, So that means that it's going to do a hydrogen first. Not quite what I wanted it to do, but uh, I will deal with that. Alright. I think that'll do. So this pipe will go over here, this pipe will go there, and I know that this pipe's going to do something like this. Uh, we're going to do... Now I left this as a carbon dioxide, so I'm going to put the double bonds in now so I don't forget. A bit laggy in that. Um, Go 
something like that. So this will spit out an oxygen and an oxygen. I think I'm going to move that up so that it's not going to cause the problem later. Um, let's try that. Maybe. No. I don't want to try that. I want to try this. So, debond. And we'll have this guy do the debonds again. I like that trick. Output drop. Oh, just realized. Just remembered that I wanted it up here. Oops. Shift this back up then. Move those up there, move that there. So something like that. Drop. Output, output, there. That should take care of that. So the carbon will go to the carbon. Then we got this to deal with. We got oxygens coming in from here, hydrogen and sulfur's coming from in here. So let's try something like this. I want to go ahead and connect this pipe up now. This pipe will do whatever it wants to and do that. No, I'm going to probably need a sensor there. So, time to try this. So, this fellow's going to bring in two atoms. Grab. Actually, it's going to end up doing something like this. Bond. And then I'm going to stick a pause there see how that gets where that gets me that gets me into a collision which means I did something screwy oh <laughs> left the rotate there should work now now we have to wait for the oxygens to get through except that's happening seems like I can't do anything right it seems this reactor just decides to mm, screw things up. Okay. Now it should work. Oh, come on. That's not going to work at all, is it? Come on, think what's going on here. Hmm. Okay. So this is the reactor that's acting up now. Let's try... Drop. Actually, I'm going to make him a grab drop. Output. I'm not even going to bother to test that. I know it's going to work. So let's see. Come on. See, it didn't work. Oh, come on. Okay. New tactic. Shift these up to the very top. And try again. From the top. So I'm going to do bond a reactor. So grab drop. Actually, I think I'm going to do a sink. Do that. That might work. And then this fellow will do a loop. So if it's a sink,
Come on. Let's do that and then debond, debond. Yep, that works. Okay, that's a new technique I haven't thought of. So looking in this reactor, we've got that. That's actually a very, very good sign. Um, now it's just a matter of figuring out how I want to do this now. I think... Let's try this. We're going to do bond. So we're going to basically just get rid of that and drop. We'll do a grab drop. I like that technique from earlier, even if it didn't quite work. And do a double bond. And I'm probably going to need that there eventually. So I may as well place it now. Okay, I am... I am pleased with that. I am pleased. I'm happy with that, how that turned out. Um... Let's do... Let's do that. Let's see what that leaves me with. At the end of that. Rotated once many times, but... Uh, so that probably means I'm going to need to move this. Let's put the hydrogen there. And that should work. Aha! That is fantastic. This just might work. Oh, right. So on that note, I'm going to input twice more. Do that. So that'll input two of those, I want to input one more of those, and that should just bond, bond, and sink, sink. I might have it. I'm... <laughs> and then all I need to do is sink. Move this here. Grab... Come on. Drop. And put another sink. As soon as I output. So here's how it's going to work. So let's see if I can actually... So it inputs those molecules, waits for the oxygens to catch up. Come on. Catch up. There's that, so it rotates once, has to wait for some more oxygens to be generated. And that is a complete molecule. It likes it. Yes! It's all working! Ha! That probably took longer than 20 minutes, but it works. I am pleased with... And that's better than what I ended up having on my other save file. That's fantastic! If you can't tell, I am ecstatic. Um, so I ended up getting the sulfuric acid successfully created. And with f relatively few reactors, too. There was a quota of five. Not half bad. 
Woohoo! That's fantastic. Wait for the tenth molecule and then we'll just speed straight through. And there we go. Cue the lag. Woot! That is a very low number of symbols, relatively no number, low number of cycles, low number of reactors, got the challenge for the achievement. I'm happy. Well, I will be until I finish this level. Well, until I start, sorry. Alright, so I'm at about that wrapping up point, just under 20 minutes. Perfectly fantastic, I am happy I got that level done. Thank you very much for watching, folks. This has been R30 Hedron playing Space Cam. Happy reaction engineering, folks.